How do the chums does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be talking about Hello Games, predominantly, a little bit of No Man's Sky, but more about the Game Awards and what I think might happen in the Game Awards. You know what? Let's get comfy. Let's get on the old chair, shall we, people? Chikapow! There we go. Let's bring the footage up. Chikapow! Now, Hello Games has gone to the Game Awards quite often in the past, okay? And sometimes it can be just to pick up an award. Now this, this was from 2020 and Sean getting an award. And it, it still tickles me now. It's quite funny to watch his response. Here we go. The best direction award, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but welcome back. Now coming up next, we're gonna present the best ongoing game award and the Twitch community thinks Fortnite is gonna win that with 47% of the votes. Well, let's find out the Twitch community is right. Uh, we are going to present the best ongoing game, which recognizes five outstanding titles that continue to deliver for fans. Here are the nominees. All right, well, now it's time to reveal the winner. The nominees are joining us here. Hi, guys. All right, here we go. Uh, and the winner is... The Game Award goes to No Man's Sky. <laughs> Still chugging his beer. Um, I was not expecting that. Uh, amazing. <laughs> well done, Sean. It's normally... Twitch is right, Jeff. It's normally Fortnite. It's always Fortnite that beats us. Uh, shit, uh, thank you so much. Um, we're really lucky, you know, we get to come to work every day and make games. No Man's Sky is such a wonderful game to work on, you know. Um, it's not always easy though, uh, so moments like this, they mean a lot, you know. This means a lot to me, means a lot to the team. Thank you so much. Thank you to the community for continuing to support us. Thanks. You see this little chap up there? He's from the last campfire, and there's a reason why I pointed him out. We'll get to that in a moment, though. So, back in the day, before it was the Game Awards, it was actually known as a VGX, and it was at VGX that this trailer dropped. I have to mute it, because, you know, uh, yeah, just do. Uh, the music is actually copyrighted on this one. But yeah, this was the trailer that we got at VGX before it turned into the Game Awards back in 2013. 2013, 10 years from then, 2023. So 10 years, 10 years anniversary, could we see a new trailer? Now, when I say a new trailer, I'm wondering whether it might be a new trailer for an update for No Man's Sky. It'll be like what you're seeing on the screen now. Or maybe a new trailer for their new IP. Hello Games have announced that they've been working on a new ambitious game. They said even if they had 100 developers, it would still be freaking ambitious. So they're really pushing for something special. <laughs> this old trailer. I mean, look at the trees. They're even swaying. And this one's got leaves blowing off of it. We still don't have leaves. We don't have deciduous trees. Every single leaf on that was a pixel. I don't know whether you noticed that, but when they say every leaf, every tree procedural, this is this is that. What we have is like um, static assets that have been procedurally placed. It's very different. But at the same time, this was dropped at VGX. It was the trailer for No Man's Sky. This is what got people talking. And then E3 is when we saw the Diplos down at the watering hole and all that sort of shenanigans. So this is where my interest in No Man's Sky actually peaked. I still have so much awe, oh, so much love for this initial trailer. Uh, you know, it, it's fantastic. The E3 trailer as well, but this one had the sandworms in. <laughs> Oh, I was like, what? It's got June planets. Yes, I'm still waiting for sand dune-esque planets. Yes, we've got cactus planets, but we haven't got complete sand biomes. Heck no, we don't. Anyway, so there's that trailer, which was pretty darn freaking lovely. And yeah, that was VGX. So, and that became Game Awards. 
So a lot of people are saying, well, Captain Steve, because of the Game Awards, because of E3, I don't think Hello Games are going to do another big reveal at the Game Awards. They've learned from their old lessons. This is something I've seen time and time again inside of my comments. But what I would say to that is back in 2018, well after that 2013, something special happened at the Game Awards. Here we go. Let's hit, let's hit this up. So let's make that full screen and uh, make sure I've got my volumes on and play. Tonight we've got some of the biggest franchises in the world unveiling their new games. We've also got some smaller studios sharing their projects. This is another one of those surprises. Enjoy. Oh, 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 this one's got music in that's copyrighted. So I'm going to mute that. I'll put in some of my, my own music in the background. But this was a Hello Game short. This was actually made by two or three developers inside of the Hello Game studio. So it's still a Hello Games title, and they still used the Game Awards as a platform to launch this one out. Now, this is called The Last Campfire. If you haven't played The Last Campfire, I've got a whole playlist on The Last Campfire. I'll put a link up there. Go hit that one up, because it's a freaking lovely game. It's beautiful. It's a puzzle platform sort of game, but it's just whimsical. I really like the narrator in this game as well. She's got a lovely voice, very haunting. Yeah, it goes very well with the whole sort of ambiance of this game as you follow this little character through these mazes, Ember. It's it's just beautiful. It's a really nice game and it's wholesome too. So it's good for the family and I think it's even on Switch this one. So yeah, give it a look see because it's a very enchanting lovely game but anyway to take away from this they use the game awards as a platform to say this is our new title okay so and i've done that in 2018 it took a little while for the game to actually launch you know it could be that we get the announcement of a new title from hello game studio it might be another hello game short who freaking knows but i think we might get something from hello of the games inside of um the game awards and there's a good reason why i think that might be the case people so yeah, let's let's just let's stop that for a second. Let's just make myself a little kaboom. Yeah. So yeah, I honestly do think that the Game Awards is going to be a decent platform for Hello Games to showcase their new title. I mean, it's worked for the last two games, so why wouldn't it work for their third game? You know, that's all I'm thinking. But I have got more to that. I'll get into it. So yeah, I'm over on the old Twitter space. Let me put myself on the Tinterwebs. Ah! Boom, there I am on Sean Murray's page. Right, let's uh, let's zoom that in just a teeny tiny bit. And let's scroll on down. So you can see all the titles here. Hello Games, founder of No Man's Sky, Joe Danger, The Last Campfire. When we scroll on down on here, most of Sean Murray's recent tweets have been about the Game Awards. Yes, please vote. So they are up for another sort of award, Best Community Support nomination. Now, they do do quite a lot of patches and push out some updates into the verse, but community support, you know, the only thing that we have is the Zendesk. Now, I've cast my vote. I've voted on this and said, yes, I'm voting. Heck yes, because it's, it's one of the main games I play. It's the backbone of my channel. And the least I can do is vote for them to say, yeah, heck yes, do it. There you go. I'll retweet this out for them as well. But uh, at the same time, support is a very ambiguous word. I mean, yes, they do put out a lot of patches and updates and things like that. And inside the patch notes, it gives us some sort of synopsis about the direction of No Man's Sky in some way, shape or form. It's not community communication. It's community support. And they do support the community. They support the actual um, event that I do yearly. I guess, or we do yearly, uh, yearly, I should say, at the Free Pigeons pub. Yes, if you haven't seen that, I've got a little playlist of meetups in real life. Go hit it up. We will be arranging another one. Thinking about phoning the Free Pigeons in January. They've got some new booking system that only lets you book for the year that it's in. So I'm going to phone right at the start of January, people, and get that booked in for us. But yeah, and more details to follow on that one. Heck yes. But there we go. Lovely job. You can see here he's gone mental about the Game Awards. Game Awards, Game Awards. The last three tweets has been pretty much the same bloody thing. Last chance to vote. Which is, yeah, nine hours ago. Last chance to vote people if you haven't voted already it's very simple very quick just hit it up get in there before votes close and get your votes in if, if you can i don't know whether it's over now people i mean i've already voted on mine so there we go anyways lovely jubbly let's see that all game awards game awards game awards game awards and then this so you put out a little skull emoji what games development does to a man and cleanly shaven slightly bearded pretty big bearded massive beard it makes me wonder whether the retweet of this was for a reason. 
whether he's got a big freaking beard right now. I mean, we haven't seen a picture of the chap. So who freaking knows? He could be full on bearded. He could be ready to actually say what they've been working on dev wise. Or it could be that they've just got a massive update to No Man's Sky coming because we've had echoes mid year, but we haven't had anything in this final quarter, not even a new expedition, expedition four. So we're long overdue an update. I mean, I don't want to sound like that I'm expecting one, but they set that own precedent over on their LinkedIn page to say that we put out updates every four to eight weeks, you know, every month to every two months. Anyway, there was another one that he put out here where when you click into this, boom, it's actually talking about the launch of No Man's Sky. Yeah, yep, four years of emotions, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But that was 2016. So again, are they ready with another freaking mini disc of a new gang? You know, who knows, people in the viewers, who freaking knows? But I took this over to the polls. I took this to the polls and I put it out there, people. And I asked you guys in the viewers what you guys all think. Let's hit the comments on this so we get that. Do you think Hello Games will announce something at the Game Awards this year? And if so, what do you feel is most likely from the list below? A new update and expedition for No Man's Sky. Only 8% think that it's to do with No Man's Sky alone. Their new game IP, it's a new intellectual property that they've been working on, 30% hit that up. That's that's a massive sway of you, 30%. I think that's the winner winner, chicken dinner. Both a new IP and update for No Man's Sky, 20%. So that's, that's pretty darn high. Next up is, nah, nothing. Hope they win the award though, 27%, so that's second place. Nothing and doubt they will win the award either, 15%. So these last two are nothing, yeah? So these are no updates, no new game IP. Add them both together, you got what there? You got 30, 30, no, you, you, you got quite a lot, yeah. <laughs> I think it's 42, 42, and 42 percent. But you add these together, you've got 20 and 30, that's 50. 58 percent of people say that there's going to be some kind of update. Although it's 58 percent there versus 42 percent, it's almost 50 50. So, yeah, it's very much on the fence. It's a seesaw. The community honestly thinks something is going to happen. Now, because well, there's something might happen, may happen. It's, it's very 50-50 in a roundabout way. Now, the only reason I think something is going to happen is mainly because they've been up for a ward and those really weird tweets from Sean Murray sort of hinting at development. And then all this stuff about the, the Game Awards. It almost makes me think that if, if there isn't, then some of those tweets that Sean Murray has put out there are rather trolly, okay? So if we don't get something, I think those tweets have led us down a garden path to make us think maybe there might be. I'm going to be tuning in, and this is going to be gone midnight here in the UK when I tune in. I'm staying up late for this one. I'm planning to have a little nap after work for about an hour or so, a little power nap, and then staying up and watching this one. I'm going to have a coffee on the go. I'm probably going to watch it over on Jason Play's channel because he always does reactions to these sort of things, and I really like Jason's take on stuff. Yeah, I'm not brave enough to do it myself because I'm on a strike warning from freaking YouTube from when I done the Apple one years ago. But anyway, people, I honestly think that it's worth tuning in to the Game Awards. One, to see if Hello Games wins the award. And two, to see if they announce something new from their studio, which I think could be on the cards, people. I honestly do, I guess. Right, oh, well, got my tea in hand right now, people. Yeah, do I go for tea or do I go for coffee when I'm watching this later? I don't know. What I was going to have the most caffeine in, probably a good dog coffee, to be fair. Well, that's a bit freaking blurry in the background, isn't it? Oh, I've got it on 1080. Oh, yeah. That's about as good as it's going to get, apparently, people. Anyways, hopefully the Game Awards go swimmingly well, and hopefully we get to see some new titles there. Now, I did watch the development, the developers sort of sit down chat about some of their games for Indie Studios the other day. There was a game in there called lock that looked really nice and another one about uh, glad that you are here or something like that that looked quite cool i might do little mini showcases of them anyway games in the new year that i'm hoping to bring to my channel 
In January, we're supposed to be getting Palwell launch. That looks thoroughly interesting, Palwell, I'll put yours. Um, what else? And then in February, there should be Nightingale. Nightingale should be coming to the channel if it launches on its launch day, which would be lovely, right in time for my birthday. And then over in March is Dragon's Dogma 2. So that's the three games that I'm going to be having coming to my channel in the new year. If any of those interest you, be sure to hit me up with a like, subscribe, all that sort of shenanigans. But at the same time, hopefully we're going to get something for No Man's Sky over this festive period. So hopefully December through to January, I've got something to keep myself busy there until Power World drops at the very least. Fuck yes. And then all those other games that I just mentioned, they're going to be sister games to my actual channel. You know, they're going to be secondary there. And the first and foremost to my channel is always going to be No Man's Sky. I guess it's the backbone of my channel. It's where the future is for my channel, I believe. Uh, unless Hello Games really smash it out of the park with their next title. Which, you know, that might take pole position. And, you know, No Man's Sky might become a sister game then. If we're seeing something amazing from Hello Games. Hopefully, I'm hoping it's another spacefaring adventure. What are you hoping for from Hello Games and their next title, people? I'm hoping that they take everything they've learned from No Man's Sky and make another space type oriented game. I mean, when you jump over to Bo Lamb's art studio, Bo Lamb works at the Hello Games studio. When you look at his artwork, it does make you wonder if there's something along the same lines. Let me bring it up for you people. I'll show you what I mean. Thank you. So here we are, people. I'm over on Bo Lamb's art studio. No, I do not want to sign in. Go away, you. Now, when you scroll down on here, you can see all this is all No Man's Sky artwork. Concept and artwork for No Man's Sky. And then it takes a very different sort of direction. But even in some of these, it's like this image here. Yeah? If I bring this up, I mean, this looks like a colossal archive in the background here. And this looks very much like a current day autophage. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? I wonder if I can just hit the little chevrons. Oh, I can. Again, look, looks like an autophage there, but there's lots of waterfalls and stuff like that. Very lovely. Another autophage in some sort of underground kingdom and city. Maybe the new game, if, if Bo Lam's artwork is anything to go on, could be some of this. I mean, it's got a very sort of more fantasy style in space. I mean, look, it looks almost like a wizard. This looks almost magical, like an Eldar or something like that. And the city almost looks like ruins and things. But obviously it's mixing technological with this medieval. I really like it. It's almost like a Skyrim in space, you know? And I love this Japanese aesthetic that's going on. And all these banners and stuff. I mean, we get banners like this in No Man's Sky already. A lot of what we're seeing inside of this artwork on Bo Lam's art station. It almost feels like it's in keeping with No Man's Sky, but not No Man's Sky. And funny thing is, is Sean Murray said our new game is going to be as ambitious, if not more ambitious than No Man's Sky, but it's not No Man's Sky. Well, these images look like No Man's Sky and not No Man's Sky, but look equally as ambitious, if not more ambitious than No Man's Sky. Uh, maybe I'm just connecting dots that don't belong, people. But let us know what you think inside of the viewerverse. I mean, being that this guy works for Hello Games and is an artist for Hello Games, it does make you wonder whether he's just drawing these willy-nilly for no freaking reason or whether there is reason to this. I mean, this looks like this looks a little bit like Elden Ring in space now, doesn't it? You know, a little campfire going and stuff like that. Bloody lovely. I mean, look at that. I mean, this sort of swamp creature almost made an appearance in a roundabout way in the last campfire. But look, you've got the guy here that's obviously a traveller. He's got some like winged cat creature with him as a companion. And then we got the companions update that put companions in game. So it's almost like they can lift the code from that and place it into this game. Lovely jubbly, more aesthetics, more sort of story. Does make you wonder if we're going to get some sort of lone explorer that's got an AI companion with us. Maybe get rid of the multiplayer aspect and focus on more making it your own adventure in space, going to different planets, picking up different stories and having some sort of fantasy sci-fi jaunt. I mean, some of these trees still look in keeping with what we see in No Man's Sky. The art style looks very much Hello Games' art style, like The Last Campfire and the first versions of No Man's Sky. I mean, look, there's a giant freaking airworm up here, people, as well. You know, and we've got this in the sky that almost looks reminiscent of the current day stations or atlases that we see inside of No Man's Sky as well. That's a bloody big pigeon! 
I guess it is. But yeah, lovely. I'm I'm loving the art style on this. If this is if this is their new game, if this is their new project, take my freaking money. Okay, this looks freaking epic. This looks amazing. You know, I, I've always said I like a game with space wizards. Space space wizards. I guess I should turn that into a song. It's nice, isn't it? But look at this. You've got this giant sort of walking structure here. It's got little roots coming off the top of it. No arms. That's freaking freaky. And I like all these little, like, dust babies or whatever they are. They've got all roots coming off their heads as well. And look at that thing that's just hovering over there. I mean, it's obviously different planets or different worlds. It'd be interesting to see the sort of ship that this chap flies in, wouldn't it? Heck yes. Oh, it just stirs the imagination. Bo Lam, you're a freaking artistic genius. If this isn't, if this isn't, you know, um, at the new project of Hello Games, then, you know, they definitely need to take some inspiration from this guy. Oh, I mean, they do anyway. I mean, they did for freaking, you know, No Man's Sky and stuff. The only thing is, is when you look at what came before No Man's Sky, he was still drawing all this other stuff, as well as things that made it probably into No Man's Sky, you know? Now, when you look at Bo Lam's Twitter feed, he was actually making his own little mobile game. And his own little mobile game was a fantasy sci-fi game that looked very much in keeping with some of the characters of this, but it was a top-down, not very... No, no offence, Bo Lam, but it wasn't on par with the likes of No Man's Sky. It was very much a mobile phone game, you know? So it could just be that Bo Lam is doodling these things out for his own sort of side venture and side hustle, and then you've got all these No Man's Sky stuff slotted into the middle. But it does make me think, well, what if? What if this is the future? I mean, I use this image to say, what if this is the new race that's going to appear inside of No Man's Sky? We've got the auto pages appear, which was the next freaking bit of artwork over. So it does make you wonder, people. I mean, you can see that they do look pretty much like auto pages. When I hit on up the auto page, you type stuff. Look, that is clearly an auto page. So, you know, I wasn't too far off the mark with my last freaking guess. So hopefully, hopefully I'm not going to be too far off with this guess. Right, anyway, people, I better get on with my um, my tea drinking and, yeah, and getting ready for this tonight's Game Awards. Hopefully we're going to see more games that I want to bring to my channel. I did mention free earlier, but there is a good chance... Oh, there's Bo Lam right behind me. Hello, Bo Lam. Yeah, but, but there is a good chance that... Um, I was going to say. Yeah, there might be other games that I want to bring to my channel from tonight's Game Awards, and hopefully I'll be coming up with another little shortlist for the year. But normally, they showcase games that are going to be later in 2024, so hopefully you won't have too much of a mix-up to my roster of what I want to do in the early part of next year. Pal World, Nightingale, and Dragon's Dogma 2. Anyway, people, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my tea. I hope that's given you something to talk about. My poll is still up if you want to go and hit it up or put a comment on there. There's quite a few comments already. I didn't read any of them out. I should have done, really. But, you know, it would have dragged this on a little bit longer than it needs to be. I think you get what I'm, I'm saying. I'm very excited for tonight's Game Awards either way, whether Hello Games announces something or not. And I'm eager to find out what happens then on after the Game Awards. Say if there is radio silence, right? If Hello Games doesn't come out with something at the Game Awards, it's far past time to have the Redux start. So hopefully we're going to get the Redux hit on up at the very least this year, people. Hello Games have put updates out onto their internal branch um, and they're waiting to go over to Experimental. They've put some over to Experimental, but nothing has gone to public yet. Inside of there are fixes for the Mac, for PlayStation VR 2, and for the Nintendo Switch that are all sorely needed, and they're needed before the Christmas period, before people start picking up and buying No Man's Sky. Those patches need to go in, all right? Hello Games are sitting on them. They're sitting on them for a reason, okay? In my opinion, they're sitting on them for a reason. That's because they've got something planned for us for the festive break, okay? So I think something is going to happen. It could just be Reduxes alongside all of those patches, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed for a lovely Christmas surprise and hopefully, at the, on top of that very least, maybe, at a push, Expedition 12, maybe a cheeky update. But we'll see, people. I could be wrong. Till next time, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Oh, look. Adventures with Dread. Ha! She just updated her name on Patreon. It automatically updated on the feed. 
Ah, Adventures with Dread does content for No Man's Sky and also Starfield. If you haven't checked out Adventures with Dread, go hit her up. And there's one of my new members, B Turtle. <laughs> Welcome along, B Turtle. Anyway, salute to Mondo, people. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. <laughs>